Hey guys, welcome to Earthbeat. In this video, I will be showing you how to replace the back glass on an iPhone 12. This device was inside this case for all its life. And one day the device was dropped and the whole back got cracked. This will be my second time doing a back glass replacement on the iPhone. The first one was on the iPhone 11. This is why you need to have a good case on your device. The case that was on this iPhone 12 was very cheap. The build quality of that case was not good. It was a very flimsy case, a case that is not strong and it doesn't have any solid portion on the edges replacing the back of this device with apple is 349 after looking online the lowest that i could find for a third party shop was 150 dollars for less than 20 dollars and a little bit of time you can do this yourself so you're going to use a heat gun in order to heat the back of the device this is the first step you need to have a heat gun because a hair dryer is not going to heat enough the back in order to let you do this type of back glass replacement so the motion here is going to be you need to heat the back of the device for less than five seconds i am using the highest setting on my heat gun and after that you take your tool and remove the glass also very important you need to have some gloves and eye protection the glass that you're trying to remove is going to fly in any direction you will not know what direction it is and that is why you need to have some eye protection also make sure that you are in an area where you know that you can clean all this glass if it gets everywhere you can use a plastic that you put on the table and that is going to help you recover all the broken glass very quickly so i was removing the glass on the back of the device but one thing that you should not do after I did this video I do not recommend that you use a big blade like this one it is too big and it will catch things that you will not see on the back of this iPhone 12 there are a few spots that they didn't put some glue directly above the wireless charging coil there is a plastic that is the gold color plastic that you see this is not glued directly to the wireless charging coil it is attached and glued to the glass and also the other gold portion that you see at the top right of the device is a spot where they didn't put also some glue so that is the main reason why the glass on those areas were taken out very quickly and relatively easily than the other portion also the magnet on the back of this device might get damaged cracked or taken out with the glass while you're trying to remove the glass this is why i said using a big blade like this one is not good you're going to take everything and you might get the magnet in the way also the way they put the magnet on the back of this device make it very easy to crack the magnet or remove them with the glass attached on it they have attached the magnet directly with glue or some double-sided tape directly to the glass if you're very careful you may be able to remove the glass without getting the magnet in the way it is possible but there is no guarantee so right now i stopped using the big blade because i saw the damage that it has done to the device so i went back to my green scalpel this is a more flexible blade and a small smaller blade so the magnet are not really a problem they can get cracked removed and they can be replaced also you can take the magnet out and replace the magnet inside the device if you use a little bit of double-sided tape you can put the magnet back inside the device the thing that might get to be a problem in the future is the copper wire that got cut between the magnet that copper wire is between the wireless charging coil and the magnet also this happened because i used the big blade i put it far inside and try to crack the glass and remove it that is why the copper wire and the magnet got in the way and they all got cracked i also think that they should have put the plastic portion that is covering the wireless charging coil all over the copper wire and all over the magnet so as of now i'm not really sure what that double copper wire does but i think that is the only thing that got damaged in the process as of now once i'm done removing all the glass on the back of this device i will be testing everything to make sure that i have retained all the functionality and also you can see i just changed my blade the other one got cracked that is why i started with the big blade because that one is stronger and more solid the green scalpel is very good in doing this but if you push it too much it is going to crack instead of getting something damaged on your device i believe when i did did this with the iphone 11 i use only the green scalpel to do this and everything went well nothing was damaged and the device was good so if you want to do this try to use a blade that is soft like the green scalpel you don't have to buy the green scalpel you can use any blade that is of the same type so you can see despite having that copper wire broken the wireless charging coil is still working so we still do not know why 
or how that copper wire interact with the device. We will check that later. So while removing the glass on the bottom of the device, I used the big blade once again and was able to use a lot of force to remove the glass. But I think on that area, something got damaged. So let's continue. I still have some glass on the camera and at the edge of the device. Those are the only areas where I need to remove the glass now and we can start the assessment of all the functionality despite having a few things damaged on the device. I think the good combination while doing this glass replacement is to use a sharp blade like the green scalpel and use a flat metal tool like the one that I just had. Also later I will be showing you all the areas where there is no metal covering the component. Those are the areas where you will need to be more careful because if you go far inside you're going to damage one of the components i do understand why some components need to be exposed and not covered by metal but there are some other part in this device that should have been covered with that metal portion the metallic frame in order to protect the device while you're trying to do a glass replacement so currently i'm trying to fit the glass on the back of the device i didn't do the cleaning yet after removing all the glass out of the device you need to clean everything despite all the heat the wireless charging coil is still working and the cameras also are working there is no blurry situation on the cameras everything is functioning normally as of now to do the cleaning you're going to remove all the double-sided tape that is still on the back of the device you're going to remove all those by scratching them and scratching the surface of the back of the device without doing this work of cleaning the back of the device you risk to crack the glass that you're going to try to install and you might also put the glass on but it will not stick to the device for long if you do not clean and you're going to redo all this. I found that this is the best tool to remove all the excessive double-sided tape or glue that is on the back. The green scalpel does remove some of the glue or the double-sided tape but it is too sharp and while trying to scratch it might get too deep in the plastic portion of the body. That is why I think the flat metal tool is the best tool to remove all the excess double-sided tape or glue. So here I was trying to fit the glass on the back of the device after doing all this work and surviving all this heat <laughs> and as you can see the glass got cracked so this was the only glass that i purchased in order to do this glass replacement and i kind of knew that this was going to be the case because the frame of this device is not in a good condition to accept a new glass like i said in the beginning of this video the top right of this device was the point of impact despite the device being in a case a cheap case it didn't survive and you can see the frame is bent if you're trying to do this iphone 12 glass replacement make sure that you do not have any bent on the frame the top right of this device was bent more than that i was able to push the frame out a little bit and i thought this would be enough so if you have a bent frame do not try this you're going to waste your time so like i said i knew something like this will happen so i have another solution for you before we get to that solution we need to check the device to make sure that we didn't damage any component or hinder any functionality of this device the process that we took in order to remove all the broken glass out of the back of this device is still a valid process and you can do it to replace the glass of your iphone 12 i was able to test the 5g antenna the 5g connectivity with a t-mobile sim card i tested also the wi-fi speed 5g speed and i also tested the wireless charging coil which is still working despite two copper wires being cut and the last thing that i'm going to test is going to be nfc apple pay and nfc as you just saw it the nfc the apple pay is still working and we didn't damage anything in that compartment i tested all the cameras also they are working perfectly there is nothing wrong with the cameras and also the flashlight the flashlight also is working so this is the two copper wires that were cut while i was trying to remove the glass this copper wire is very loose it is not attached the same way as the other copper wires for the wireless charging coil also the bottom left of the device is a wire that got cut this was cut while i was using the big blade in order to remove the glass all the cuts happen only when i use the big blade to remove the glass so using a flat metal tool like the green scalpel a very soft and flexible blade is going to be the best case scenario in order to avoid all these damages the arrows that you're going to see are the areas that are not covered with the metallic shield on the back of this device the metallic frame at the bottom of the device are going to be the charging module component those are exposed at the two extremities of the bottom of the device just right below the wireless charging coil there is an opening also 
this is directly above the battery i do not really understand why they have that opening there there is no logical way or logical thinking of why they put that small opening right directly above the battery directly above the wireless charging coil around the magnet is an opening also so that area also is directly above the battery you're going to need this microphone mesh in order to reinstall the new glass you can see here the magnets are attached to the glass by double-sided tape or by glue when trying to remove the glass at first i was able to remove the glass without touching the magnet that was the first thing that i did in this video and after that when i took the big blade then and tried to remove the glass it pulled the magnet and the copper wire that is attached near the magnet like i said the magnet are not really a problem you can remove the magnet by hitting the glass and using a blade to lift the magnet up while doing this also you might break the magnet also the magnet can be taken out of the glass and refitted inside the device even if it is broken if you know what those two copper wires do please let me know in the comment box i would like to know what they do for this device i have tested everything in this device and couldn't find what was broken at the bottom of the device the bottom left there is one wire that was cut and if i try charging by cable also it is working so everything is working but obviously something is broken and i will try to find the component that is broken and replace it in the other portion of this back replacement so this is knowledge that i acquired after completing this replacement or restoration of this device this is the charging module of this iphone 12 and the arrow is pointing to where the wire was cut this was knowledge acquired after completing the full restoration of this device the thing that was cut was the microphone at the bottom of the device this iphone 12 has three microphone there is one at the bottom of the device one on the back of the device and one at the front of the device the microphone on the back is directly above the flashlight this is one area that is exposed also that you need to be careful while removing the glass. All other areas where you see arrows are exposed areas also. They are not covered by the metallic shield on the back of the device. So I knew that the frame of this device was not good enough in order to do a back glass replacement. So that is why I bought a new frame in white in order to transfer all the component. And this is a method of back glass replacement also. But this is going to make your device new again, completely new. This process is similar to a full teardown of the iPhone. You are going to transfer every single component inside your device onto the new frame of the device this process is not easy it is not very hard also you need a lot of time in order to do either the glass only replacement or the frame only replacement the main difference between these two glass replacement is the first one the glass only replacement is cheaper because you're replacing only the glass of your device the second one the frame and glass replacement is going to cost you more because it is more expensive than getting only the glass but on the other end you're going to have a device that looks brand new the time to perform both is relatively the same if you're doing a manual glass replacement so let's go back to the initial topic the glass only replacement after you have cleaned the back of your device and remove all the tape all the glue you can even use a nail grinder to scratch the surface of the back glass to make it as smooth as possible and after that we can start the installation of the glass this is exactly what i did with this iphone 11 i was able to make it very clean it was clean and ready for the glass installation make sure that you do not use tape in order to seal the back of your iphone tape is not going to work and it will not be durable the best thing that you can do is to use b7000 or any type of electronic repair glue that is specifically done for iphone back replacement the b7000 need to be around the component you cannot put b7000 on all these copper like surface or gold like surface and also here you can see there is less component exposed everything is hidden under this metallic shield we can certainly say that doing the glass replacement on an iphone 11 is much more easier than doing it on the iphone 12 same thing for the iphone 12 after you have put the b7000 all around the component and avoid all the openings you can take your glass and start to apply the glass on the back of the device if you have cleaned everything correctly you can put the glass on the back of the device and start to apply a little bit of pressure on it it is going to start to stick and after that you can start to apply some clamps that are going to hold constant pressure on the back glass with the frame of the device together while removing the glass around the camera glass the camera rings might get a little bit bent after you remove them 
you can apply a little bit of force on the camera rings for them to be flat and after you have done everything place the camera rings back on i think here i have put the camera rings before i have attached the glass so you might be able to put the camera rings back on and then after that you can attach or install the new glass on the device click the video on the screen for the iphone 11 glass replacement and i will see you on my next video for the frame replacement of this iPhone.